Alrighty, sir, tell us your name and tell us a little bit about your project. Okay, <clears throat> hello everyone, my name is JJ Thompson and I have done a cathode ray tube experiment. So, pretty much my main goal in this is to show that there are particles, like mole different molecules and atoms that affect nature. And contrary to popular belief, um, there I want to prove that, and that will be the case. Okay, so what were you guys trying to find or do with said experiment? Okay, so the whenever you have a cathode ray tube experiment, pretty much what you have is you have to shoot a beam of light through this hole. And once it goes through the hole, it has to, it'll hit this uh, screen, and it'll, it'll bounce, it will deflect. And uh, whenever it deflects, it goes at different wavelengths. And I noticed there's this trend with the intensity that, um, that affects the different wavelength. And also the screen was positively charged. And I noticed when it's positively charged that positive photons would, uh, they would uh, repel each other. So then I kept shooting them and I realized that they would attract and those would be um, negative. So I came to my conclusion those negative particles were electrons and they were very fundamental to this experiment. And I was able to um, calculate uh, these electrons acceleration and do lots with that. And I conclude that the electric and magnetic fields had uh, a lot to do with the electrons movement and uh, deflection and things of that nature. And through more calculations, I was able to um, find the um, charge to mass ratio, and that was um, negative 1.78 times 10 to the 8th coulombs per gram. Okay, so where exactly did this experiment occur? This experiment, I conducted it at Cavendish Laboratory at Cambridge University in the Cambridge of United Kingdom. Okay. So what other significant events were happening around the world at that time? So some other significant events, I believe in 1897, the first um, Olympics were held in Athens, Greece. And also uh, in the 1890s, um, in the United States, uh, Yosemite became the second national park of America. And just other, um, other big movements um, and ideologies were starting to crop up uh, across Europe as well. Okay. So who else was involved with the project? Who else? For the most part, it was just me, honestly. I did most of the experimentation and overs oversaw most of it. But I do give credit to those that came before me. Um, I definitely uh, credit Michael Faraday, um, Heinrich Geisler, and their uh, research and the... Um, data and information that they collected, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it without their uh, prior knowledge. Okay. So what would you say was your role in the project? My role, um, pretty much just like I said before, um, just conduct all the experimentation, uh, record the data, um, and really just notice any abnormalities within the electrons and how they moved and just kind of really completely understand what my discovery would be. Okay. So what impact would you say that your project has had on the physics community? Um, a very tremendous impact, I believe. Um, with the discovery of the electron, um, it can do so much. It can have many uh, technological innovations in the future. Um, it, and it's really applicable to almost anything. They're everywhere in nature. So the possibilities are virtually endless. And also the ratio I found, the negative 1.78 times 10 to the 8th coulombs per gram is very essential as well. That can be used in many calculations in the future um, and it can be a very invaluable resource to many future scientists and researchers. Okay. So what would you say was your biggest challenge during the project? My biggest challenge, I would say, is just really getting um, accurate data and accurate evidence. Um, because, like I said, at the time, there were many skeptics. Many people didn't think that these particles existed um, and things like that. And even though my plum pudding model was incorrect, 
it, it, it would still lead to, it'll still lead to things um and the study of uh quantum physics quantum mechanics um it'll lead to more uh just future and just better discoveries all righty thank you for your time thank you